Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial series by Profile Tree. In today's episode, I'm going to take you through what to do when your media goes offline um, and you can't locate it. So there are a few reasons this can happen. I'm going to take you through the main ones today. Um, if after watching this video, your media still can't be located, um, please leave a comment in the comment section below and one of our team will get back to you uh, with a reply and it will hopefully resolve um, your issue regarding Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to open a project. So let's go ahead and find it. Um, let's go for the Christmas market one. Um, so go ahead and open your project. Um, so locating media and then this is probably what you've been presented with. Um, so here we see our file name, sorry, clip name, file name, file path. Um, so this is what we want to be looking at here, the file path. This is where your clips are located and it's how Premiere Pro knows where they are. Um, so what I'm going to do is make sure these boxes are ticked. So basically it's going to run a search and Premiere um, wants to match the file name that it's looking for with all of these. So make sure file name is ticked, file extension is ticked, um, and go ahead and click locate. Also make sure this is ticked. Use Media Browser to locate files. So go ahead and click locate. So before I hit search, I'm just gonna tick display only exact name matches. And then I'm going to click search. So just let this run in the background. It may take a while, um, but it's just running through the whole system trying to find the exact file names of your missing clips. So Premiere has opened this folder and it is displaying the following file um, which must match one of the clips that we're searching for. So I'm going to click that and click OK. And once you do that, it should find all the relevant clip names and file names. And you'll be able to insert your media into your project once again. So it's quite a common thing and um, one thing I would say to try and eradicate this happening in future is just keep your um, project files organized. So have different file names within your edit file and just keep it all under control. Don't be um, inserting footage from um, one hard drive and then your edit file being another hard drive and then your music files being another hard drive. You're just asking for a nightmare. Um, so just keep everything together, and as you can see, um, Premiere is now finding each and every one of these files. Okay, so as we can see now, Premiere has nearly uh, recovered every single bit of media. Um, so let's see what it does. So as there are so many files, and they're usually high quality images depending on what you're working on, um, it can take a little while. So just be patient with Premiere and let it do its thing. And there we have it. Premiere Pro has found our files, um, which somehow had got put into a different folder. Um, so that's the main way to do it. Um, so just remember to tick the boxes that I had mentioned that you need to tick. Um, there's obviously going to be different um, problems that are associated with this. Um, so as I say, if you have a problem that isn't solved by this video, please comment the issue below and we will try and get back to you with a solution um, as fast as we can. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next episode. Thanks, bye.